Hi there, welcome to this month's HubSpot tip of the month. So this month we are looking at sales forecasting, probably a bit of a hidden secret in HubSpot. A lot of people probably are used to just looking at their deals board and going, yeah, everything is in a certain place in the pipeline and based off that we've probably got a certain number of revenue coming in. Uh, something that's way more powerful is something called um, the sales forecasting feature within HubSpot. Uh, probably uh, more uh, experienced sales teams are used to using these. That's where we've got um, best case commit and uh, pipeline. So typically what we're doing here is that if something's in pipeline, it's there's something happening but we don't really have any clarity around when the deal is going to close, it's just sort of sitting there, one day it'll happen. Um, best case means that there's something actively going and we're actually, we're actively moving a deal towards a closed sale. Uh, commit means that we've got a, uh, essentially we've got a, a date locked down, uh, it's very likely to happen uh, and it might be say a 50-50 chance of using say us versus another vendor. So it's very, very likely to happen and commit is where we're putting a lot of our energy in terms of getting that thing over the line. So what it does is give us a really good reflection around like a, a true uh, forecast of what's what's likely to close within our business, to, uh, especially if you need to forecast your cash flow in the business. So obviously, most businesses do. Um, so HubSpot has this really amazing feature built in, which is your sales forecast feature. So if we do jump to, I'm just going to jump to this screen here. If you, you can get to that fire sales and then forecast, you do have to have the professional version of HubSpot to be able to do this. Um, sales forecast, and then we're jumping into the view report section. So that gives us a breakdown by who's, who's, um, uh, who's looking after the deals and what stage they're at, how many deals we've got of each stage. So we can either do by stage or forecast. Um, but if we click on view report, we can, th can then get our weighted forecast um, uh, report. So essentially what we're doing here is we're saying, if I jump back to my deals board, say if we've got, I'll just move myself out of the way, uh, at the appointment scheduled uh, stage of our pipeline, uh, we've got a, only got a 10% chance, a 20% chance of that uh, converting to an actual deal. So you'll notice this one here is actually worth about 600k. If say for instance, it's a cybersecurity uh, management job, say they've had um, you know that that there's been an incident uh, or potential incident. They're like, let's just bring these guys on board and get started straight away. We might move this all the way forward to say a contract sent. Now that's sitting at 90%. So even though it's um, it's a 600k deal, if I then refresh my report, you'll notice that my pipeline jumps from a, probably my commit, which is where we want to focus our energy on. Commit's currently sitting at 7,500 for the quarter. If I refresh this, uh, my commit then jumps up significantly. So I've now got 445, which is that 90% of the uh, 600K. So I uh, correction, uh, that is that is my raw math, 457, um, 547 uh, of that um, 600K sitting there. So my commit is actually looking fantastic now. Uh, we've got a very short summary of what our actual goal is for the, uh, for the quarter as well. And um, based on this, it looks like we've got a very, very healthy um, forecast happening now. And uh, we typically just have a dashboard, which is, so we've got your standard sales dashboard, which is your uh, history, historical, you know, what's been your best conversions, uh, who were your best sales deals, etc. Uh, but this is more of our sales forecast. So we're looking at future. And if I just refresh this report, it will then update as well. So that's our HubSpot tip for the month. Uh, sales forecasting, as I said, HubSpot Pro, absolutely. If you're a uh, professional experienced uh, sales team, absolutely this is for you. If you're not used to this, it's really it's really great to jump in and, and get, I think, a, um, a deeper dive into your forecasting, especially a weighted forecasting as well. So you're getting a true picture of your cash flow forecast within your business. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month.